One of the major challenges hindering the effective management of sexual and gender-based violence cases in Ghana is lack of logistics and caregiving facilities. For its 20 years service, victims were compelled under circumstances to share their stories in open offices, sometimes in the presence of suspects. These happened largely because the various units, including even the national headquarters, do not have befitting facilities to ensure privacy and mandated cares. But addressing the closing ceremony of the 20th anniversary of Dovsu, Deputy Interior Minister Henry Korte assured the challenge would soon belong to history. Dovsu, with support from government and other international and external stakeholders, will soon be launching one-stop center of services for victims of domestic violence and abuse. A police station and a clinic, shelter, juvenile cell, a social worker, counselor, a cafeteria, amongst others, will be provided <laughs> under one roof to offer services to reduce the stress the victims go through. He urged staff to reflect on lessons learned over the years and best practices in the days ahead. Director General of Police CID, COP Mamiya Tiwa Adudankwa, charged the personnel to ensure that victims did not become double victims. We want to count on your support and cooperation to bring domestic violence and abuse to its barest minimum. And we also continue to count on all the investigators. Our commitment, our dedication will go a long way to assure victims of domestic violence that they will not become double victims. Victims of the offense itself and victims of the criminal justice system. Country representative of UNFPA, Niyi Ojualape, called for adequate attention on the DOVSU unit to deliver. Individuals and institutions who had contributed to the growth of DOVSU over the years were honored.